Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside for today. Today we're doing a pack review and we're taking a look at 3V Gears Outlaw 2 Sling Pack. So if you follow the channel, you know I'm a saddle hunter. I've got the Tethered Phantom on right now. I'm gonna climb the tree here with this system here in a minute. And I'm always looking to minimize my gear, get as small and light and compact as possible, while still offering a lot of modularity, a lot of ability for me to add and remove pieces and components of my pack, of my climbing system, of the amount of gear I have to take into the woods in order to have a successful hunt. I hunt a lot of public land here in Pennsylvania, almost exclusively public land. And so I go in pretty deep sometimes well over a mile in certain hunts in certain locations and so I like to have a small compact lightweight setup that allows me the most ability maneuverability and ease of comfort while I'm going through the woods so real quick before we dive into the 3v gears outlaw 2 sling pack let's take a look at my original pack which I still plan on using in particularly for turkey season and let me put the pack on and explain why I'm still going to use this Badlands monster fanny pack so I use this all of turkey season in 2019 and then all all of deer season as well as many scouting missions throughout the summer and it's a fantastically well-built pack has a lot of spring frame to it a lot of pockets on the outside I am traditionally a fanny pack wearer. I wore a exclusively a fanny pack for over a decade and it was an old cheap field line and it was beaten to heck and it really needed to replace and so I was able to get my hands on this Badlands monster fanny pack now this system works really well for me to allow to distribute weight between my hips using the kidney belt as well well as the shoulder straps. There's a lot of side pocket room as well as the main pocket in the back, but the problem is the main pocket in the back is not easily accessible, and particularly in the dark, you can't see it anyway, but also the zippers are all hidden under cloth flaps, and they're not really, even though they have a nice big tag, they're not really easily pulled one way or the other because of the spring form of the pack. So in order for me to get into the back pocket, or to get to my climbing sticks, which I attached to the bottom two uh, clothes loops, which you would use to carry in extra layers, I would have to take the pack off, flip it upside down, access the bottom, access the exterior, so on and so forth. Now for turkey hunting, that's fine. I'm on the ground, I'm running gun, it's not a big issue. And also because of where it sits in your back, when you lean up against the tree, you get a lot of really great lumbar support. But when it comes to getting to a tree for a tree stand or for a saddle situation, you gotta get climbing sticks off, you gotta get other gear out. It wasn't really a great fluid system, even though it was really super comfortable, compact, and very lightweight. It just was not the type of system I was looking for. So when 3V Gear reached out to me and I saw what this pack had to offer, I had to give it a shot. So there's a lot going on with this pack in terms of the number of pockets and molly webbing on the outside and all sorts of things. So let's get through the full rundown of this packet. Now, I have not actually hunted with this. I've only had it here for the past couple of weeks and I've climbed a tree once or twice with it just to get a good hang of it. And it has been a super fluid system so far. There are still some downsides, but we'll get to those later. Here I have the bag packed to the nines. This is everything and then some that I would ever take into the woods. If it was an all day sit, this would be what I would take. I would actually take usually a lot less than what I have in here, but I wanna show you every part and component and how I'm able to pack this correctly and safely and efficiently. So I'm still carrying less than 22 total pounds of pack weight. That includes the sticks, the water bottle and everything inside is still less than 22 pounds. So if you take out the bow and the very lightweight saddle that I'm wearing. This is a very lightweight setup and a very comfortable one. First things first, we'll start with the exterior. So on the outside, they have molly webbing that connects to this exterior pocket here. And I have used uh, Night Eyes gear ties, essentially. It's just rubber coated ma malleable wire. And that have looped through the molly webbing to allow my uh, climbing sticks to be attached on the outside. Now it also has this secondary buckle, which you can see is not necessary, although it ends up carrying the vast majority of the weight and and these uh, malleable wire systems over here keep the sticks from sliding left and right while I'm walking. Now I've taken this on many hikes here just through the neighborhood, I obviously haven't gone up and down, haven't hiked over a mile uh, in the woods with these yet, but so far nothing has ever shifted. And so far I'm very, very pleased with how this is setting up on the outside. So we'll get the sticks off here. And um, as you can see, very simple. Uh, when I actually get the pack on and go climb the tree, you'll see how easily those come off and on. And we now have access to this pocket right here. Now this is uh, a bag that can be designed to use for everyday carry, if you will, or EDC, uh, which means that you could um, carry this with firearms inside of it. Um, obviously a very strong military background here with the American flag, all the molly, the OD green color, so on and so forth. 
On the outside here, it has a button that goes across, a snap that goes across. So that way, if someone was to come to the back side of your bag and pull, they can't get it open unless they really crank on it, just like I had to there. Inside this packet is where I would keep my knife. As well, I keep my uh, um, range finder and I've looped it through one of the pieces of the molly webbing. So when I'm in the tree, if I accidentally drop it, it doesn't fall all the way to the ground. It just stays connected to the pack and I can simply keep it here on the side. Also inside this pack, I would keep my hunting license. Uh, it's just, there's a little tertiary pack on the inside here and I can sit that in there and it's not gonna fall out. And I really don't access this much anyway unless I kill something. And rarely am I using my range finder in the woods because I'm keeping my distances my shot distance is so short but it's nice to have in there I don't often carry the rangefinder that's one of those pieces of gear that I don't carry all that often and so therefore it would actually be excluded from this pack more often than not this secondary pack up here is where currently I'm keeping my tether for my saddle system and of course if you're not a saddle hunter you can store something else up in here but as you can see it's all in here we have elastic we have smaller pockets up in this bag as well so if you wanted to use this as a backpack you got plenty of space uh, for school supplies if you want to carry for that way if you want to carry for other things uh, if you want to carry medical supplies up in here something with easy access uh, for me in the woods I was like carry a little ibuprofen a couple of band-aids I might store that in here as well but for right now my tether for my saddle system goes in this bag right here moving around back to the bottom but on the inside we have a good handle out here we'll get to that later we have this zippered system here and this is where I keep my binoculars and these are also again clipped into so if I drop them they will not fall out of the tree and I keep my phone in here here or in my pocket or somewhere on my person and then also in here I like to store these little guys these are the little touchpad pens that every person over the age of 50 uses on their iPad <laughs> you get a two-pack of them at the dollar store for like a buck or two and they're really nice when you're wearing gloves and you want to access your smartphone it's always nice to keep these on hand and of course if they have the pen system in them as well you can use them to fill out your tag if you have a successful hunt lots of interior pockets here you have pen slots uh, down the middle uh, you have lots of elastic in here plenty of options for you if you want to store particular things in particular places whether or not you want to use this for the outdoors as a personal pack to take to school or for everyday carry use moving to the other side of the pack you do have a water bottle holder it's actually pretty deep this is just a cheap mainstays uh, screw top thermos water bottle that you can get at Walmart for a couple of bucks uh, I just got it in matte black I like it because it is waterproof with the nice o-ring seal on the cap makes a little bit of noise when you open it but it's nice to carry cold water or hot coffee if it's a real cold morning you can't fit like a Gatorade bottle or a Nalgene bottle in here it's just a little bit too small but a standard water bottle or a thinner thermos like this will slide right in and it's not going to fall out anytime soon so I'm going to flip this pack sideways and a little bit backwards so we can see the main plate and also you'll see why this side handle is going to be really nice here in a minute You'll notice that on the actual back plate that comes in contact with your back, it's a very hard molded foam. It's not a plastic, it's not actually rigid, but it's incredibly firm, uh, which gives a nice solid back plate, but with definite added padding. Really nice touch here. The Badlands Monster Fanny Pack has the same thing. Really like it. I think it really adds to the rigidity. It's not a floppy pack. Uh, it adds a lot of comfort as well when you're adding this much exterior weight on the backside, particularly with those climbing sticks. We'll talk about the shoulder strap here in a little bit. We have an exterior, an interior pocket here. I don't know why you would want to stick something inside there because that's just going to prod into your back, but the option is there. I'm more interested in the main pouch, which I think this pack, even though it was inadvertent, I think this pack was designed for saddle hunting because on the inside, you can carry a full-sized tethered predator platform. And I keep it in its bag because when I didn't have it in its bag, the sharper or rough corners of the uh, of the cast aluminum on the inside of this pack were rubbing pretty hard. It's an interior vinyl uh, on the inside, much like you would have the interior vinyl, um, waterproof vinyl of a, of a tent. And so it was really scuffing it up and really scraping it on both corners here on the inside of the pack. And although it adds a little bit of extra weight, it is nice to keep things clean on the inside of the pack. That way this carrier can get dirty on the inside with all the mud and tree bark and everything else. And it also keeps my pack from getting scuffed up. So that was a really nice addition, inadvertent addition. Uh, but this thing, I mean, it just fits in there like a glove. It's almost like it was designed for saddle hunting. It's just an absolute perfect fit. 
Inside here is where I keep the rest of the goodies that I would use um, in this zipper pocket here. I would keep my release, my grunt tube, stuff that I'm gonna take almost every single hunt. Of course, the release for bow hunting. And then I would also have my pull rope here uh, for carrying my bow up into the tree with me. Also got some gutting gloves and toilet paper. The actual essentials that I would take on every single hunt are gonna go inside this main compartment. I don't have to take my binoculars. In fact, I don't a lot of the time, um, just in particularly in the early season here in Pennsylvania, when we have full greenery, you're not really gonna see past 50 yards. And if you can't tell if a buck is legal at 50 yards, you should probably get your eyes checked. Uh, so I don't often take binoculars. I don't often take a range finder in the early season when my shots are so limited to 30 yards and in. Uh, and with the exception of the stuff here that's on the inside, a lot of the stuff on the outside uh, is tertiary and I don't necessarily need to take it with me. So now let's talk about the shoulder strap system. And this of course is the one thing I don't like, but it's the thing I have to live with because that's the way the pack is. This is a sling style pack. So it's a one over the shoulder type of pack. It is not a backpack system, which means all of your weight is put onto one shoulder. Now, without the climbing sticks, without that extra eight to nine pounds, this is stupid comfortable. I could hike like this for hours on end, not a problem. But when you start making this pack over 15, 16, up to the 21 pounds-ish that I have it right now, when it's fully loaded, this is gonna be a little bit painful with just, just one shoulder strap. Now, you can alleviate it a little bit because there is a secondary strap system here that allows you to have a little bit of pull onto your chest rather than directly onto your shoulder. And that does significantly help for me if I get that a little bit tighter. It has a little bit of adjustability up and down. I like it all the way down. You also have the ability if you want, if you weren't storing this much stuff back there, you could have a hydration hose that comes around and you could have access to water without having to take the pack off at all. So now here is the real beauty of the sling pack system. And this is of course only compatible with things that have the one strap that's over the shoulder. I never have to take the pack off to access it. I can simply flip it around. And since all of the zippers are on the top side now, on the right side of the pack, I now can access anything I want. So let's say I come up to the top of the mountain, I'm a little out of breath, I need a snack, or I need a little bit of drink of water, flip the pack around, have access to what I need to access put everything back, flip the pack over, clip myself back in, and I'm ready to continue. And I never had to ask my buddy, hey, can you reach in my pack and get that thing or take the pack off completely, get it back on. And in particularly in thick hunting clothes, it's a real pain in the butt to be flipping a pack on and off. Having the ability to just quickly reach around, grab it, access it, get what I need to do, and then put it back is a real, real game changer for me. This is a super convenient system. And where it becomes really convenient is when I start climbing a tree. So let's actually get up a tree a little bit and let's talk about why I like this system so much. So let's actually see this pack in action and why I'm so excited for using it for the saddle system in particular with my mini sticks. So let's say this is the tree that I've actually selected here. I come to the tree I originally with my Badlands Monster Fanny Pack or any other stick system, really carrying system, I would have to take my pack off, get everything out of the pack, get my pull rope out, clip it onto my bow, so on and so forth. And it was kind of time consuming because I had to put everything back on that I needed and then I could start ascending the tree. But here, since everything is on my back and I have the ability to sling the pack around and put it on my chest and then move it back out of the way again, it simplifies the process. So here, I'll just unclip loosen the strap up a little bit so it spins around a little bit easier and now I have full access to everything in my pack now you might think well you can't actually see your climbing sticks well these uh, pieces of malleable wire here have a super tactile feel to them and it's just like undoing a twist tie if you've ever undone a loaf of bread you can undo this and you notice that since those were just kind of holding it side to side I can let go of the wire completely push them out of the way and the sticks are still there because they're held in by this strap here unclip the strap move the pack around and now I have full access to my climbing stick system. Now I'm only going to do one stick up the tree so my carrying the sticks up the tree method in order to do everything in one trip that has not changed. I have a piece of paracord looped on both sides of my tethered phantom and I can loop my sticks on either side and then as a one last step before I start ascending the tree I will flip this pack around and it's so much easier without the stick weight on there I can then open up the main compartment. I can pull out my pull rope, unwind the pull rope, clip it to my bow, simply zip this back up, flip it around, 
clip that in, then usually I uh, put the uh, rope into my chest pocket or into a side pocket on my bibs or on my hunting pants, and then I will start ascending the tree. So let's say we're now at hunting height. So I'm standing on the bottom step of my mini stick here, and I know that my predator platform is going to go somewhere around my knees. Now on my original system with my Badlands Monster Fanny Pack, I would have to clip using the molly webbing onto the top part, the V of the backpack straps is where I would clip the predator platform right in the middle of my shoulder blades. And I would have to reach over like a medieval archer and pull out the platform just like I'm pulling out an arrow out of a quiver and then I would install it onto the tree. Now that's not a problem. It can get a little cumbersome with the uh, heavy clothing in the late season, but the biggest issue is getting it back in. You can't just fish it. It's a very tight fit and that's true with a lot of different platform systems. So this pack allows me to flip it around and have full access to the predator platform both when getting it on the tree, which is the easier part, but more importantly when I have to get it off. So here I can flip the pack around, open up the main compartment, pull out the platform, give the bag a quick zip. Now of course you could do this a lot slower, so the zippers are a lot quieter. You don't have to be anything fancy here. And since there's nothing else left in that pack that's loose, everything is in either a Velcro or zippered pack, I don't have to even zip that up all the way. And now I can install my platform. All right, so I took the climbing stick off and installed the platform so that way it could stay in frame without having to move the camera. But the premise is still the same. Now I'm standing on my platform, I'm at hunting height, and now I have the ability to access the rest of the tree to install my tether and my hunting strap. And the same thing is true flip the pack around, open up the compartments that I need. Here is my uh, gear hanging strap. And now once I have the gear strap installed, I actually have the option of keeping this pack on my chest or I can transfer it over to my gear strap and then work from there. So I like to just keep it on me because I know it's not gonna fall off. I'm not gonna bump it off the tree. So I'll access my tether at this point, pull that out. And it's nice as the pack gets lighter and lighter, the more you move up the tree, the easier it gets to move around and around. At this point now, I have my tether installed so I can start leaning away from the tree and allowing my bridge to start taking my weight. Now for me at this point is when I would now unclip the pack. So I'll have to yank it over my head. And you can choose to do one or two things with it. You can attach it to the top handle, but preferably I'm gonna attach it to the side handle because all of my pockets are on the side here simply put that onto my gear hanger and now I have full access to everything. So at this point, I don't even have to be wearing my binoculars on a harness. I can simply open up this pack, have access right here, use my binoculars, put them back in. If I want to wear them, I can if I have the right harness system for them. I have my phone in here, my little touch pen. I have everything right here and accessible. My range finders right here, everything else. And if I was taking long snacks or, or my water bottles down here in the bottom, everything is right here in front of me. I don't have to worry about stuff falling out. I don't have to worry about digging through a full long backpack in order to get into it. With my Badlands Monster Fanny Pack, it was a great system. The only issue with it is, being a fanny pack, it has the wings of the kidney belt. And you either had to fold them in, and they came out really far, pushed the pack out really close to you. So coming into the tree in order to turn was kind of difficult. Or you had to reach around the tree and literally girdle the tree with the kidney belt, just like the tree was wearing the pack. But since this is so small and so compact, I can even push it into the tree. It's very malleable, very formable. It's completely out of my way. And I can now execute any shot that I want. I can come over this side of the tree. I can reach around the bridge here. Of course, I can come over here and do a drop shot. Keeping my knees positioned in the tree allows me to have good clearance, okay? That's what's really important about saddle hunting is the ability to have good clearance around the tree anyway. And having a small, compact, lightweight pack like this really makes that a whole lot easier. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about the 3V Gear Outlaw 2 Sling Pack, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit me up on Facebook and Instagram. You can even send me an email. That's down in the description as well. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.